And welcome back, this is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Nerve Herder, which is an awesome name, so I'm going to assume he's Zerg. He is ranked number one in his goal division with 2,044 points, with a record of 691 wins and 677 losses. And here we are in the game, and here I am absolutely failing. Oh my gosh, what was that? I am the Red Terran in the Southwest, up against Nerf Herder. Still a great name, except I always thought it was a bad thing, but still a great name. He is the, the Blue Zerg in the Northeast. The map is Blistering Sands, which you don't really see that often these days. Um, I don't have any um, preferences on my 1v1 maps i know there's that option but I, I just haven't used it do you guys do you guys do the the 1v1 map preferences i know like as a youtube broadcaster i'm not if i ask questions it looks like i'm just like fishing for for comments and stuff i'm really not i, I really do want answers to this stuff do you guys do the map preferences um if you're Terran, should I be doing map preferences? I kind of just, you know, whatever you guys want to do. But then again, if, if they have their map preferences set, I only want to do Blistering Sands, then it's kind of, you know, I shouldn't be doing that. Um, you know, if I, if I had to do map preferences, I would assume that I didn't want... Um, the large maps. I, I would not want to do Shakura's Plateau ever. Uh, probably wouldn't want to do... Um, Scrap Station, to be honest with you, even though I probably have a good record on that map. Um, I personally don't like Lost Temple that much, you know. Uh, so yeah, do you guys do that? Do you guys do the map preferences? Do you say, oh no, I will never play on this map ever again, and oh, you know, give me this map. So, we are seeing what looked like about a 15 pool from Nerf Herder. Uh, not going for the the expansion. I sh you know, I, I would have seen that. Uh, at least a glimmer of it there uh, when I walked by. But we are going to be seeing a second hatchery inside his base. That's what he went for. There we go. And I'm still running around his base. And I go, what the hell? A second hatchery. I've never seen a second hatchery go down inside the base. What I was assuming, though, was that he was going to be going mass zerglings. So I got that supply depot up. I'm going for the block off here. Of course, that one marine can hold off about six or seven zerglings all by himself if he's if he's got a block off in front of him. And, well, the opponent is kind of stupid and just not accepting it so you know I'm still in his base still doing a lot of scouting and I'm seeing a, a, a gas a spawning pool and a second hatchery so I'm honestly thinking mass roach that was that was what I was thinking at the time um, I don't know if that's how how he thought it, but that, or how you guys would interpret that, but I'm seeing a second hatchery inside the base, not an expansion, just a second hatch, and, um, and a gas, kind of an early gas, maybe it's speedlings, but now there's a second gas going up, so I don't know, speedlings kind of seems like it wouldn't need that much gas, and here, um, I noticed the guy coming in, I don't want him to see that I have two barracks there. Is he going to be able to see that? No, he doesn't see anything inside my base, so um, those two S that, that SCV going out to, to do some damage did help. This guy survives with just two hits left on him. So getting the supply depot up for the full block off here. Uh, Marines and uh, Marauders are on the way. Baneling Ness is coming up. So we are not going to be seeing uh, speed links. He didn't even... Yeah, it's not that big... Not that bad of an upgrade, but we are going to be seeing baneling nests um, coming up. So we're going to, well, baneling nests, just w just one of them. But we are going to be seeing banelings. There will be many of those. Um, I'd sing for you guys, but really, you know, just like Justin Bieber, the song kind of got annoying after a while, and it had absolutely nothing to do with Husky. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it, um, Husky Starcraft did a, a great parody of uh, Baby by Justin Bieber. Um, 
called Banelings, and um, if you haven't seen it yet, let's pause this video and go check it out. You could wait until the end of the video to go check it out if you want as well. It's just called Banelings by Husky Starcraft. It's very entertaining, but once again, I mean, the, because the chorus repeats over and over and over again, it, I kind of got sick of it at the end of watching it once. So I can't imagine listening to it over and over. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but that was a lot of Zerglings popping out. Now it's going to be a lot of Banelings coming out. And I don't know what to think now. Um, I'm inside my base and I'm going, okay, there's nothing yet. There's nothing yet. And I'm getting kind of impatient. You know, it's the seven and a half minute mark. Um, I actually, uh, you know, I didn't, I wasn't getting impatient based on the, the timer though, but, um, you know, I was getting impatient because there was no attack. So I'm kind of like, you know, if I've gotten all this stuff done and he still hasn't attacked, maybe I need to attack, start doing some harassment to Zerg players. You know, you need to do harassment to Zerg players. Otherwise they're just going to macro all over the place, but he's not macroing at all. He's going mass Zergling and mass Baneling. Banelings are going out in front. And what am I doing? I'm lowering my supply depots. And gonna start moving out. Marines out in front because I know exactly what I'm doing. And almost all of them die. Uh, so here I'm going back inside his base. I know better than that. I really do. I don't know what was wrong with me today. I just have not been playing well lately. 28 Zerglings are on the way. They will finish in time. 26. Boom, there they all go. That is the beauty of being a Zerg player. They can just spew out whatever unit they think they need. And this is going to be more than enough to clean this up. And he is able to, to well, hold on to and gain ground in the unit's loss count. Um, he has spent almost nothing on technology. I have spent a lot. I did um, try to to go for a follow-up, kind of an all-in counter-attack. So I am taking all my units back inside my base. I need to get that supply depot rebuilt and get that block off redone. I do have a Marine down here guarding the destructible rocks. You do want to keep that in mind, especially when he's going mass Zergling. But he's not even going mass Zergling. He's going really mass Baneling and just Zerglings just, just because Banelings can't really do that much damage after they blow up. Um, I'm keeping the supply depot down. Oh, there we go. Raising it up. Uh, so at least I can get some potch off while they run across here. You know, if they're trying to do a run by, but really if he's got banelings and they explode here, it's going to do a lot of damage to my base. So more banelings waddling in. He is not getting speed. Well, he is getting speed, but they don't have it yet. And they're able to take out my barracks and... Eh, not that many uh, marines or marauders. So I'm running back out because I know Zerglings are on the way. And I'm stupidly following them back to his base. And yeah, he's getting more Zerglings. What the hell did I expect? It's uh, Watching this game in replay is like watching me like put my finger in a pencil sharpener. Repeatedly. You know. Uh, ow! the hell was that? Let's try it again. Ow! <laughs> so, I don't know what I expected. Maybe that he didn't have anything left. Maybe that he wasn't expecting a counterattack. A little bit of bad mac micro there from him. Um, there was no reason for him to use the, the banelings on, on the marauders there, but he ended up doing it anyway. He still got a huge lead in the units lost count. Um, well, the, the army count skewed. When when you're morphing in banelings, it actually doesn't count towards your army count. I don't know why. So then, yeah, as soon as those pop out, boom, takes a huge lead in the army count as well. And yeah, he's moving out again. This keeps working for him. Why not explode attack structure? Really, um, banelings do 80, 80 attack to a structure. Did not know that. The more you know. Where's my little star thing? Yeah, I'll be honest, I'm not going to edit that in. Oh my goodness. All those banelings. And they all die. 
this guy was uh, okay I'll be honest he was not that great with his bandling control anyways but I was just stupid and he's gonna easily be able to clean this up I do have a siege tank out I, I put all my own units out there because I'm going for my expansion um, because I'm starting to run out of minerals here taking all my SCVs off the line because I assume that he doesn't have that great of an um, that great of saturation in his base, but he does. He's perfectly fine there. He actually has the lead now that all my SCVs have been destroyed. Um, but it was kind of a last ditch effort. But now that more <laughs> more Zerglings in, followed by more Zerglings coming in, I really stand no chance. Did he break down his? No, he just put creep over it. Looked like he broke it down on the mini map. Trying to morph in a planetary fortress, but it is not going to be up nearly in time. His, um, I, s I do see the Zerglings going for the, the rocks there. I know that I have no chance of holding this off and I'm forced to GG. So really looking back, there was absolutely no reason for me to have lost this game. Uh, but I did. And it's just been that kind of a day for me today. It's been a long day, uh, but I am getting as much done as I can in terms of broadcasting because I don't know if I'm going to have any time this week. I, I'm working until uh, Thursday. Uh, Christmas Eve is Friday. Um, if I do my math right, this should be going up about Christmas or the day after Christmas. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the gifts that you got uh, if you celebrate Christmas. Um, if not, I hope you kept the receipts or they kept the receipts for you. Um, so, hey, feel free to let me know what you guys got. If you got something really awesome, if you didn't get anything real cool, I don't really care. You know, it's like, oh yeah, I got I got a book that I was asking for. Hey, super, sweet. Actually, I am a reader, so I do, I do want to know about books, actually. But like, hey, I got socks. Socks. Sorry. Um, so yeah, horrible game for me. Merry Christmas if this comes up on Christmas or the day after Christmas. If not, um, hope you guys are relaxing on the weekend. Um, so I'm trying to get as much of this done as I can because I don't know how much time I'm going to have the next couple weeks. Um, so I do apologize in advance if there's uh, no StarCraft 2 up. But, you know, fingers crossed there definitely should be. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.